The History of Basketball. Our story starts with this man. His name is James Naismith. He's the inventor of basketball. Now, Mr. Naismith is from Canada, but when he moved to the United States, he moved to Springfield, Massachusetts. He moved to Massachusetts to study at this college to become a PE teacher. Now, this college hosted a YMCA. The director of the YMCA asked him to invent a sport that student athletes could play between their football season in the fall and their baseball season in the spring. He came up with the sport of basketball. The director of the YMCA that asked Mr. Naismith to come up with a new game had some ideas already. He wanted the game to keep his athletes from the football season and the baseball season in shape. He wanted it to be a game that they could play indoors. It's cold in Massachusetts in the winter and it's very snowy. So he wanted a game to keep these athletes healthy and strong and fit during the winter season. So James Naismith took this charge and he invented basketball. What he did was he talked to the janitor at the YMCA and he said, hey, do you have any boxes? And the janitor said, let me go look. And he came back with two peach baskets. And he said, will these work? And Mr. Naismith said, well, I'll try. He took those peach baskets and he nailed them to the balcony on the second floor of the gym. Now, it just so happened that this balcony was 10 feet high. That's the same height that the NBA and the WNBA play at right now. That's how high their rims are. Now, here's a picture of that original YMCA gym. Can you see the peach basket nailed to the wall? Here's the funny thing about using a peach basket. Every time the ball goes in the basket, it gets stuck. It doesn't come down. So they would have one player on each team sit up in the balcony. And every time the ball went in the peach basket, that guy, his job was to get it out and throw it back down just so they could play again. And even when they took the game outside, they had the peach basket nailed to a pole. They had to bring a ladder out to climb the ladder to get the ball back down. It actually took them several years to realize, well, let's just cut the bottom out of the basket. Now, because basketball is a newer sport compared to most, we actually have an audio clip of James Naismith talking about his new sport. Dr. James A. Naismith, the inventor of basketball. Dr. Naismith, how did you happen to invent basketball? Well, Mr. Heater, it was in the winter of 1891 when I was physical instructor at Springfield College in Massachusetts. We had a real New England blizzard. For days, the students couldn't go outdoors, so they began roughhousing in the halls. We tried everything to keep them quiet. We tried playing a modified form of football in the gymnasium, but they got bored with that. Something had to be done. One day, I had an idea. I called the boys to the gym divided them up into teams of nine and gave them an old soccer ball. I showed them two peach baskets I'd nailed up at each end of the gym, and I told them the idea was to throw the ball into the opposing team's peach basket. I blew a whistle, and the first game of basketball began. This new game spread like wildfire all over the country. Both men and women at colleges all over the country took on the sport. The rules of basketball kept changing over and over and over all throughout the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. It wasn't until the 1960s that the rules started to look like what we know basketball as today. In the 1960s, that's when they decided, you know what, there should be five players per team. We shouldn't have nine on the court anymore. We should use a shot clock so teams can't waste the time. They have to shoot the ball within 24 seconds. And also, they finally let the players dribble. In the past, they were limited to one or two or three dribbles, but in the 60s, they decided, nope, we're not going to limit your dribbling anymore. It wasn't until 1987 that they added the three-point line. That's right, all shots were one or two points until 1987. Now let's look at some basketball highlights from the last six decades. We'll start in the 1970s.
them up, bring it them up. Standing on shaky ground, too close to the edge. Let's see if I know the ledge. Oh, oh no! no. Don't go at him standing. like that, young fella. Oh, don't, don't do it to him like that, Shaq. Somebody got a stuff, I just might spare one. Yeah. Give a brother a fair one. Don't Stay low on yeah. these, and I do work with these like Hercules. Yo, in a hop beat, say what? That's the man with his manager Chris and the label the jam still flossing, showing your rights. Ain't you use her Grammy man? We stole your watch. It go Indian style, knees bent and die cheeky. Strike with the baby, baby. The NBA sure has progressed. But you know what else has progressed? Women's basketball. In 1997, the WNBA was born. Now, in Minnesota, our home team is the world champion Minnesota Lynx. That's right. They've won the world championship four times. Learned some interesting things about the history of basketball. 